Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to take a closer look at a very interesting coin, the Tencent 2000 coin from Australia. This coin may seem like an ordinary one at first glance, but it has an intriguing history that connects it to the history of the world. So, let's dive right in and explore the story behind this coin. The Tencent 2000 coin was introduced in Australia in the year 2000. It is a silver-colored coin with a distinctive shape and design. The front of the coin features the image of Queen Elizabeth II, who was the reigning monarch at the time. The back of the coin features a stylized image of the Australian coat of arms, with a kangaroo and an emu standing on either side of a shield. Now, you may wonder what makes this coin so special and connected to the history of the world. Well, the answer lies in the symbolism of the coat of arms on the back of the coin. As I mentioned earlier, the coat of arms features a kangaroo and an emu standing on either side of a shield. But why these particular animals? It turns out that the kangaroo and the emu were chosen as symbols of Australia because they are two of the only animals that cannot walk backward. This was meant to represent the idea that Australia is a forward-thinking and progressive nation. But there's more to the story. The shield in the center of the coat of arms features six separate parts, each of which represents a different state or territory in Australia. And the design of the shield itself is based on the traditional symbols of the indigenous people of Australia. So, you can see that this coin is not just a piece of currency, but a representation of the rich history and culture of Australia. And as we know, the history of a nation is closely tied to the history of the world. Australia has a fascinating history that dates back thousands of years, and this coin is just one small piece of that story. From the indigenous peoples who first inhabited the continent to the European explorers who arrived in the 17th century, to the modern, diverse nation that Australia is today, this coin represents a snapshot of a country and its people. So, if you come across a Tencent 2000 coin from Australia, take a moment to appreciate the history and symbolism behind it. It may seem like a small thing, but it is a reminder of the rich and complex story, dated 1992. This small but mighty coin is worth a lot more than you might think, so stick around to find out just how much. First, let's take a closer look at the coin itself. This particular 10 cent coin was minted in 1992 and features Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse side. On the reverse side, you'll see the Australian echidna, which is a spiny anteater native to Australia. The coin is made of copper and nickel and has a diameter of 19.41 millimeters. Now, let's talk about the value. According to various online coin value calculators, a 10 cent coin from Australia, dated 1992, can be worth up to $20 in uncirculated condition. That's right, $20 for a small 10 cent coin, but why is this coin worth so much? Well, it's all about rarity and condition. Coins that are in pristine, uncirculated condition are much rarer than those that have been used and circulated. Additionally, collectors are willing to pay a premium for coins that are part of a complete collection or set. So, if you happen to have a 10 cent coin from Australia, dated 1992, it's worth taking a closer look at. Check the condition and see if it's uncirculated. If it is, you could potentially sell it to a collector for a nice chunk of change. And who knows? Maybe you have some other coins lying around that are worth more than face value. It's always a good idea to do a little research and see what you might have in your collection. That's all for today's video. Today, we're going to take a closer look at this 10 cent 2000 Australia coin. Specifically, we're going to learn how to properly clip it. Clipping coins was a common practice back in the day when coins were made of precious metals like gold and silver. The idea was to clip a small piece of the edge of the coin to collect the precious metal shavings. Nowadays, Coins are made of less valuable metals, but the practice of clipping still exists as a way to create unique and interesting collector bills. Before we get started, it's important to note that clipping coins is not recommended for novice collectors. Clipping can significantly devalue a coin, and it should only be done by experienced professionals. To properly clip a coin, you'll need a pair of clippers and a ruler. Measure the diameter of the coin, and mark a line at the halfway point. Using the clippers, Carefully clip a small piece of the edge of the coin along the mark line. Be sure to only clip a very small piece, as clipping too much can significantly devalue the coin and there you have it. A clip 10 cent 2000 Australia coin. It may not be worth much in terms of monetary value, but it's definitely a unique and interesting addition to any coin collection. 
Thanks for watching, and happy collecting.